Welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. I am strategically placed in the lovely swamps of Le Moyne uh, because I am going... Well, the, the idea is to try Survivalist 5, which is a little bit of fishing to kick off the start of the episode nice and chilled as long as there's a boat that I can find. So I'm going to leave my horse here. If you're interested, this is where I am. But this this next step all depends, and I can see some birds over there, so I'm going to go and shoot those birds too. Depends on if I, one I can avoid the crocodiles, and two I can find a boat. What bird's that? It's a heron. Not interested in herons at the moment. These fluffy white things are what I'm after before I get on the boat. There's quite a few over there as well. Oh, blimey. Uh, I could probably get. Some of them. And that's one over there. Okay. Let's go for it. Come on. I don't know what that one is in the background, but that's getting it as well. Flying off. That was a heron. Let's <laughs> get them all while they're flying. Okay. Right. Next trick avoid all the alligators. And then find a boat. There's the boat. I can see the boat. Nice. We're good to go with the boat. What are you? A little egret. Nice. I wanted one of you. you. And the egrets will help me with... Uh, Exotic. I'm just going to scare this alligator away. Uh, exotics a little bit later. I think it's in the next chapter. But for, for those of you that are doing um, your own playthrough, start is my advice as you, uh, early as you can getting these annoying birds. Because it all helps. I don't know what this one is. Snowy egret, nice. If anyone's watching is, is currently doing this, let me know how you're getting on. And if you've got any spots that um, you think are good for getting the egrets. I've got a couple, which I'll probably visit at some point. But always interested in finding out uh, better places to get these really annoying birds. Right, I think I'm ready to get on the boat. So, here's the boat. And I need to get over to that island over there, which is the actual prison. Because there is uh, a legendary fish over there. I think if I just keep heading straight, it should take me. I'll look in the map in a minute, but I'm keep going straight. 
Was it down there? I can't remember. Oh, here we go. Right. I was right. Okay. Just turn the boat around a bit. Make sure he fishes in the right direction. Okay. Fishing rod. What is this? A river? Okay. Maybe. Let's just get this done and get the hell out of here. Let's see if anything's biting. So I'm hoping that this will trigger the survivor, one of the survivalist fives, which is a fish from a boat in the bayou. That's it, I think. Yes. All right. Please let this be the legendary fish. I think it's a very big one <laughs> by the looks of it. Got you. Oh, I damn yep. well got you. There you go. Survivalist, survivalist 5. I can't even talk today. So that's the first one. Fish from a boat. Uh, the downside is I have to row back. <laughs> So it's just going to head towards my horse. Hopefully he hasn't been eaten by any alligators. Right. Made it back on dry land. Oh, several alligators. They look like baby ones, actually. But still. Let's go the safe route back to the horse. And my next stop is to fish from a bridge, all right, girl. which I have to remember. So that's where we were. So that's the prison. Uh, I have to remember which bridge it is. Get rid of that marker now. I don't need it. I think it's. I think it might be that one. So which is the. I don't really want to go through Sandy, but it's probably the easiest way. Ah. While I'm uh, in Sandy, I'm just going to pick up. I'm not going to do it now. Sorry, I di <laughs> didn't mean to burst in the door. Sorry. Um. Oh no, I don't need to go there. I need to go here. Uh, I'm not going to do it now, but I really like this bounty because it's the li I think it's Lindsay, yeah, Lindsay Wofford, Wo Woford, leader of the Lemoyne Raiders. You going after Lindsay Wofford? I might be. I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lemoyne Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's going to get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's going to get sick of all of us. Don't tell them I said mm. that. The bounty. Why are you making this fella someone else's problem? We, sir, are an urban police force. And the raiders are, well, mostly a rural nuisance. My men simply are not suited for this kind of work. This fella in particular... Wofford, ain't it? Why Wofford. Have you cut off the head, the body dies. That's the hypothesis, at least. We shall see if it can be demonstrated with the Lamoine Raiders. If the bounty's for this whole outfit, you should have made it more. Guess all the remains is to bring him in. If your hand is false, then so be it. Right. Okay. I'm not going to do it now, but I'll do it later. I think it's um, quite a bit of money, that one. Right. Okay. 
Right. So this is the bridge that I need to <laughs> dodge a train in order to um, go get a fish on a bridge. I'm just going to go this way just because... Oh, God. There's the train. So, yes. I think I've timed it well. Oh god, Arthur, which way are we going? Seriously. I wasn't planning on dumpster diving. And we're still in a river. Let's see if anything's biting. Right, come on fish, hurry up. This always makes me nervous going near bridges. Oh, I've, I'm supposed to reel in. Please let this be it. Are we still struggling? I have to be really careful because I'm using it I'm on the PC and I haven't got dual shock. So I have to really watch when it struggles. Otherwise I don't get notice. And then it swims away. Real, 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 real. Come on. Come on. I think that's it. It's massive. Oh, I've just realised usually the, with the big ones, the um, the horse comes. Legendary, yeah, legendary Lake Sturgeon. So I better hurry up. Yeah. Don't come on the trap, horse! Oh my god! And I, I got the Survivalist 5 as well for that one, too. God, quick, 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 quick. Come on, Arthur, quick. Off the track. Right. <laughs> Phew. What are you waiting for? Okay. Let's get rid of this fish. Howdy there. Welcome. Oh, receive mail. Let's see. What, what did I get? Uh, invitation. Oh, yes. I finished uh, the rough rock carvings. So, the carvings! You found the last of them. Oh, wait, until I show you what I've pieced together, you'll think I'm a bit buttered. <laughs> please not, please do not dally. I'm travelling soon and don't want to miss you. See you at my home a bit north of midway between Owengila Lake and Strawberry, Francis Sinclair. So, I will have to do that at some point. Glad to see some decent folk uh, in And town. send mail. What you need to send? Uh, two legendary fish. Oh, wouldn't let me send two at the same time. What needs to go where? We go. So that should be three now that I've done legendary fish. Thank you for your help. Uh, and the quickest way out of Saint Denis is probably doing this. So I'm just gonna go to roads. in one piece. Thanks, mister. You help me out. Okay. There is um, a stranger. Stranger danger up there, but I will do that uh, later. Okay. Whoa. Hey, why don't you walk along and get what you saw, okay? Good move. Okay. I'm going to pretend I've forgotten what I just saw. We'll be famous for this one. Well, it's about damn time. We've been planning this too long. This is it's quite close to camp, though. Oh, you never say so. So, care to say it all? You kidding me? You're the expert here. Hmm? Well, here goes nothing. 
<laughs> Not a good plan, boys. <laughs> Seems like. Is that all their... Oh my god, look. <laughs> Not even going to guess what body parts I'll those are. Spend it in your honour, boys. Nice $40. Worth stopping. Where did I abandon my horse? Here we go. Come on, girl. That'll do. Can't be bothered to hitch it. Do I need feeding? Don't think so. No, I'm fine. Right, let's go and talk to Molly. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. A great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> Well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying oh, payroll, it's like needs a bath. very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train, very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. All right. Come on, then, Where you are we miserable going, Uncle? bastards. How do you get wind of this, old man? We've only been down here all of five minutes. <laughs> wow, you boys been off fishing and playing lawman yeah, yeah. or whatever the hell you've been doing. <laughs> I've been getting down the business. It is, yeah. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will ya? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellas were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Well, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, oh great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, 
Why don't you check out around the back? <clears throat> Arthur, help me out here. Check the boxes at the back, Arthur. Now, let's see what's inside. <clears throat> Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand. <coughs> Sounds so not bad. Shit! Hey! I think I see something! Oh, great. Uh-oh. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Yeah, dude! Stop! Get back here! <laughs> Hold it right there! I had my Lancaster out. Slow down, sons of bitches! Light a shot, boys! Get rid of these sons of bitches! Get back here! <laughs> Give me nice going, Uncle! Most guarded! God, I'm going to parade! How will I know? We got a lot of company back there! Sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Oh. Yeah. Well, I timed that well. It's always bedtime anyway. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Get out here. Get out right, now let's I just keep this there. calm. See what there. happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? They're right there. Uh, uh, I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? But, Clint, tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. No, you didn't. Ain't me. Better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Uh oh. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go round the back.
place looks empty to me. And the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't, don't yeah. see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! That was Bill. Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellers. Yeah, I hope you're ready to die. More on the right here. Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's gone up to security. We got more of the bastards on this side. That's how you do it. This fountain. There's loads of them. They don't like getting raw. Let's just. Gotcha. That one you. Oh no, it didn't. Nicely done, Bill. They teach you that move in the army too. Ain't you little bugger? Of course. Beat still for ten goddamn seconds. You got us into there. God damn it! They're piling in this. Out of the way, Bill. Hey, you glass! How I insisted you come along? Oh, this is it. I'm officially retired. From this side. Shit! Fire! Watch it, Charles. Oh, didn't get a headshot. Never mind. Cornwall for a while. And no, we was robbing Cornwall, all right? Should have been smart. Out of the way, Bill. Uh, Careful, they're behind you. We don't get out of here soon. We're charcoal. You're done. Oh, blimey. Oh. Oh. What's into all that? <laughs> Right, Charles. Come on, Arthur. Let's head to the woods. That was too damn close. Into the trees. Come on. Where are we going, Bill? We'll try to lose him in the woods. Try to confuse him. Arthur, with me. Come on then. Come on, Uncle. Williamson, you're on your own. Oh, shut Don't think I've ever seen him run. Quick! <laughs> Behind these rocks. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? You're right or my right. Where are they? Oh, uh... See anything? Not yet. We're behind you. So, what? Which one was it? The right, I'm taking. Give him a hand. We're gonna 
Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? I can't see them. Oh, there's one there. I can't even see where. What am I aiming at? We got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, state. leave it. Go on. Get out of here. Every man split up. Go on. Run. Quick. Good luck, Jess. Stay quiet and move. Hundred and twenty-three seventy-five. Save Uncle when he's in, over in power, over overpowered. God, I can't talk today. Twenty headshots. 80% accuracy, complete without any health item. Nice. Okay. Horse, let's get out of here. Right. Where the hell are we? Okay. Um. Still need that fox. I mean, he's get it, but uh, I think probably the safest bet is to head back to camp. I think because I'm not going to go legendary animal hunting in the middle of the night. Yeah. Whoa, easy. Right. So I've made it back to camp. Um, I might just chill in camp for a minute, catch up with all the conversations. We've got this one. Abigail told you that Hosea and John are looking for you at the moonshine, moonshine stack, stack, stash. <sighs> I told you I couldn't talk today. Um, Lenny wants to speak to me, preaching forgiveness as he went. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the Lenny one, perhaps. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's just go wander about. Who's that? Oh, that's my card. I don't want to talk to him. Let's go and talk to Bill. That's, that's not even Bill, that's Uncle, but never mind. Let's talk so, to Uncle. Uncle, don't say it. I know I messed up. Just do more groundwork next time. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yep. Who's yep. that? There's okay, Bill. Arthur. So you told Jose about the moonshine? Yes. He's got some plan cooking. Good. Okay, I think to eat as well. Have I got anything to donate? I've got loads of them, but... Sean, there should be some real good eating. Many to thanks, go and kill some more deer. Hello, oh, hi, Micah. wandering around like a creep. Who's over here? Sean and Karen. Arthur. Hey, folks. Hey, Arthur. Having a rest there, are you? And boy, have I earned it. Really? What have you done? Hey there. Oh, things are spinning a bit now. <laughs> oh, dear. Keeping out of mischief? Yes, unfortunately. Things are spinning a bit now. Well, Dutch, Dutch is in bed, so 
let's hit the sack too. Poor Arthur, he gets five hours. Never mind. about a woman's needs. How selfish are you? Are you even aware of the price on my head? The pressures I'm under? If you'd only talk to me, I could help. I want to help you, Dutch, but there's this wall. You can help by leaving me alone so I can actually think for once. Good morning, Arthur. You're I'm a sure bastard. Arthur Don't loves living in a tent right next to them. Okay, so what am I going to do? Lenny or Hosea? I don't know. I kind of want to do the Hosea one, though, because I want to get things opened up that way. Um, so I might head towards them. There he is. Them. Ah, good morning, Arthur. Rest up. I need you strong. I've no problem resting up. So, um, yeah, let's do his air. Okay, girl. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, which order we do it in. Hey, Arthur, what are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it, they must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. See you later, John. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. Oh, yeah, I see it. <laughs> Easy, Arthur. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> OK, OK. Well, she's at the house. OK. We'll be watching you. I was just watching Arthur the sat man. on the driver. Sat Proceed, there casually with his arm. Chilling out. These t these things here just remind me of like teacups, like at a fun fair. <laughs> what you want? Yeah, the little Found rides. Something. Out in the hills, thought thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. 
Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Whoa. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> no, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Wanna do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. Mama. I believe they call that a promotional <laughs> expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the Rhodes Saloon. Here we go. I really hate doing the uh, <laughs> driving the wagons are dangerous on them. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. Yeah. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. <laughs> Put this hat on. <clears throat> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward, just a bit. Squint. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> uh, all right, I bet slow down a bit here. Oh, ma'am, he's hot. There, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad now. Try not to run anyone over. A very good morning to you. Oh, way, out the way, we're coming through. Made it. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> <laughs> what does he look like? Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed Maybe our mother, his brother and his Isaiah you, is boys, clearly boys like a, a lot older than him. I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Go behind the bar in the saloon.
Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor oh, thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have one, Fenton. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to huh? give gift. Away. That's some strong stuff. Well, give that hat is them just nasty. <laughs> Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. Fenton, open another bottle. Go drink Where's up mine, then. Don't be shy, boys. You're a fine man, Fenton. Fine man. Fine man, fine man. Fine man Fenton. Over here, Fenton. Come on. We got work. They're just walking off with bottles of it. For some dual wielding, I think. It's like, oh, he's got black hair. You done? Uh, you think we wouldn't find uh, you? What? Close range. Dude on the stairs. Wanna play high, tell ya? This way, up the stairs, there's more coming. You got it. Come ah. to an end, you damn cur. You fool! When did he fall over? All right, all right, I'm coming. Clearly dispatched of him. I'm getting this hat. Here. Ain't gonna let this go, are they? Uh, it's not waste. This Over there. Hat. They got out the back. Got more coming after us. I see them. Well, shoot them then. Yeah. Oh, bastards. Hide this up. What a bet. In front of you, Arthur. Where? How many are there? They really aren't happy about this. Oh, both those sons of bitches dead. That's it. Behind you. Oh, they hit the moonshine. Oh. Good shot. <laughs> 
Oh, you Jesus, look at my health. Take up a career in, what was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. What's a way with that? Huh? Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because oh, we got no. lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff <laughs> Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback. For my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Oh, that music is so annoying. Um, right, what time is it? Right, so I've got another miss, another couple of missions just popped up. There's no point wondering about because everybody's out on missions. Hello. <laughs> Is 
see if Dutch will say anything different, or is he not talking? He's not talking. You're beginning to creep me out, Arthur. What? What did I do? So, so look at the map. So we still got Lenny there, but now uh, we've got these two, and I really want to do this one, horse flesh for dinner, because I will then get my forever horse, and that I'm really excited about. So I'm just gonna try and sleep. Sleep till the morning, and we're gonna go and visit John, I think. Before that, though, I just need to do something which is really annoying me, which is one get rid of no, not that one. Where is it? Get rid of the bison horn <laughs> and change my belt. I haven't got the bandit one yet, so it'll have to be that one. That is what was annoying me. <laughs> so I think John is at Calgary Hall. Is it Cal Cal Calgary Hall? Uh, Where's my horse? Where is it? Where's that horse got to? Try moving to a more open area and whistling again. I left... Oh, there it is, there it is. As I was going to say, I left it near when, where I dropped off... Uh, near the Hosea mission. Oh, what? We might as well just ride there. <laughs> I don't think it's that far. Bother to go walk really slowly back into camp. What's going on over here first? There's going to be much in the train. Let's do a quick look. They probably stole it all already. really need brandy. Always need cans of vegetables though. Just lots of uh, Cartridges. Oh, okay. Can't climb through there clearly. Doesn't look like there's much in there though. 
Okay. Um. Horse. Don't even need to whistle for you. There you are. Right. Where were we? Easy. Whoa. Right. Uh. Eat. supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Completely ignore what the game tells me. Right. Here we are. Good men, like you. You don't know me. You turn up in this town, and you're helping everybody. Just listen to him for a little Everywhere, minute. Everywhere, there's trouble. Who are you? Like I said, we had a run of bad luck in the West. Lost some money on a failed railway speculation. Listen to John. We heard good men can do well <laughs> in this country. Sure. And bad men. The art of negotiation. We haven't recovered as much as I hope from the war. My family try. My sons are good boys, but it's been hard. Like I said, some people in the area will hold us back forever. We need stability. <laughs> I'm sure. We're an old Scottish family. We work. My daddy taught that to me. I taught my sons. Work hard, but fair. <sighs> right, that do. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants! I don't know. Mongrels! Slave fuckers! Nice. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? <laughs> Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove, fell over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Hey. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. <laughs> Sorry, have a Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaite. You haven't seen him? No, not yet. 
they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. I'm safer yeah, riding no nowhere near them. Well <laughs> it's a bump into him. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. I wasn't planning to. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But... Perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... We just look like okay. a bunch of horse wrestlers, basically. <laughs> Which is what we are. Someone will come see you. Stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. Alright, let's hitch up here. Alright. Let me do the talking. I watched a video the other day about how to get this horse that I'm about to try and get and somebody got it here um, this is not when I make my move on the horse I wait till a bit later but uh, they snuck round the back here um, to the horse but I'm not going to do it that way Hello there Can I help you boys? I hope so Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in? What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. I don't think he's buying it, Arthur. Here's Cerberus. <laughs> Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real... No, his name's Kalari, actually. ...bothered many a race winner. This one's uh, Old Faithful. <laughs> he was a champion, briefly, until he hurt his leg. <laughs> Uh-huh, Hand slip, sorry. Okay, bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy, easy. Easy now. Whoa, now, easy. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, 
You're gonna lead the stallions. Let's go. Old faithful. Come on. I don't know what I don't know what the uh, black Arabian was called. Marston, Never got that one. far. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick. Get going, you two. I'll watch. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! Get off my off. horse, John. I said stop Let's these just men. Get the gun out. Stop! More coming this way! Out of the fields! One more, one more. You see any more of them? No, don't think so. All right, let's get these horses to Clemens Cove quick before we run into any more trouble. We didn't shoot a horse, did we? There's a dead horse there. Stop wondering about. Hey, hey. Gotcha. Come on. I'm here. You got him. Well done. Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Could have gone smoother. <laughs> you think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Right. Now I'll go and get the horse. And it's this one here. So this is going to take me a while. Make sure I'm feeding the right one. Horse is going to be so fat by the time I finish with it. It's 
It's funny how they usually nag you, but they're not nagging me. They're just patiently waiting for me. So the idea is that you just literally just feed, force feed the horse. Because if you can see, it's you're bonding with it. And I guess you can do it with the white one or or the black Arabian as well, but this one's the nicer one, and it's much uh, much more suits Arthur than an Arabian, but because they're too small. Come on. I'm sorry, I'm making you fat horse. I want to brush it, but it's not letting me brush it. What about if I move a bit? There we go. Because even brushing works. So you don't overfeed it. Oh, we must be nearly there, surely. Let's give it another brush. Any minute now. I'm sorry, <laughs> this horse is going to burst. There we go. Phew. But I need to wait until it's like it's a white like blip on my mini map. Is it is it white yet? It is white. Okay. Let me just just in case. <laughs> Give it a couple more. Right, that'll do. I think I think I'm safe now. It's white, so let's go finish the mission. Sorry, boys, I was a bit busy. What you boys want? Heard you was uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah, sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... What are you talking about? One of them is mine. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys, but I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're going to need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive.
Believe the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Bit of a pattern happening here, Arthur. <laughs> Hundred twenty-eight dollars. Okay. Let's go get my horse. Change your mind? What do you mean change my mind? Change my mind about what? Sharon at the dog. So I'm heading. I'm heading to. You see the the horse on on the edge of the mini map. I'm heading towards it, and I could whistle it. And it, oof, actually, it'd probably be better to whistle it. Uh, yeah. I just want to show you where it is. It's going to be parked right there. It is. Look. It's they didn't lead it into the paddock basically. And there is my horse. The dark bay hey, turkman. What's going on over there? Just comment on it. On you're keeping it, are you? Yeah, okay, boy. I don't really want to get involved with anything here. Yeah, okay. Right. I'm not even going to stop. Right. We're heading to the stables. Yeah. One missy. Yeah. Alright, at the stables. What are they going to say how fat the horse is? Ain't good on a horse's knees to let him get that <laughs> I'm happy to stable that for you. There we go. Right, so I've now got four horses. Well, so we've got Malika, we've got the thoroughbred, and then we've got the, the white Arabian. Okay, so we're going to sure, saddle up we'll my forever for horse. You. Um, oh, I don't need to do equipment. Here we go. Some grooming goes a long way. Looks nice. Uh, uh, yeah, I like the grey. Yep. Um, little fine grooming always sets off a horse. Was it that one? I don't know. I might come back and do the darker ground. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, rename. Okay. Now I've got to remember how I spell spelt the last one I had. Uh, how do I do capital letters? Oh, no, that wasn't it. Uh, that'll do. <laughs> you sure? Don't know if I'd want to be hollering after a horse with that name. Stop taking the piss out of my horse's name. Leave her alone. There we go. And there we have 
the beautiful Turkoman Dart Bay. The, there is a B for Braithwaite on the on on its bum, but I think that goes over time, or maybe when when I log out and log in, so it won't always stay there. Anyway, that'll do for now. Uh, we will progress the story a little bit more because we're quite I'm quite ahead of all the challenges. So, which is allowing me now to just do story missions, um, and maybe a few legendary animals and uh, fish in between. Okay, so I will see you next time. Thank you for sticking it out. Bye.